You're listening to Good Morning Winnet, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County, Monday through Wednesday at 10 a.m. and Thursday at 11 a.m. Southern living at its best. Good morning, good morning all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land and all of you around the world listening to the sound of my voice. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. 66 degrees going up to a high of 81. I'm talking about beautiful. Now, here's the issue, though. The pollen count is ridiculous. It's almost 3,000. So, if you suffer with allergies, woo, try not to go outside today, even if you're just trying to go on the deck because the pollen count is high. So, if you have allergies, it may not be good for you right now. But, nonetheless, it's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. I um, want to give a happy birthday shout out to my good friend Derek Hawkins and also my good friend LaWanda Bills. Happy birthday, fellas, guys and girls. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Enjoy your birthday because life is short. It really is short. So, you know, I have to tell y'all that um, you, uh, I think on the last episode I was saying pray for my uncle who um, who contracted coronavirus um, seven days from Friday. He, he contracted it on the... 27th, I think they noticed that he had it on the 27th of March. Well, he passed away this past Friday. Um, he lost his fight with the coronavirus. So it's real, y'all, and it's painful. And um, I've had to pull myself together um, because, you know, it, it it's one thing when, you, when someone is sick and you know they're sick um, and because they've been suffering for a long time, or they've been, they've been dealing with a sickness for a long time, but it's another thing um, when someone kind of dies suddenly. And I've never experienced someone having a heart attack that I've known, but and so to me, this was kind of sudden, you know. And I think what's, what's even crazy about this is that the way he passed away from a virus, you know, and anybody can get the virus, and it happened so quickly. So, you know, mm-hmm. Uncle Marvin, you know, rest in heaven. I know you're up there preaching to somebody. Somebody in heaven going to be a teacher or a preacher. I don't know about in heaven, but that was his favorite line here on earth. When he met people, he would always say, you know, you're going to be a teacher or you're going to be a preacher. Um, And it's so funny because my daughter had just talked to him the week before, and we were supposed to go to Albany because they're in Albany, Georgia. Albany is one of the the towns that's hit the hardest here in Gwinnett County, here, here in Georgia. It's really hit bad, and so... My daughter had just talked to him and said, hey, when this all blows over, I'm gonna come. we're going to come down there. Because that was our plan. Our plan was to go to Albany, spend, spend some time with them, my aunt and my uncle Marvin, my aunt Dot, and um, spend some time with them. And, you know, because I like going to Albany and spending time with them. So um, now my aunt is by herself. Well, not by herself. My cousin is there with the baby. But we can't even really go to the funeral because of the coronavirus. And we're on shelter in. And, you know, my mom... I have to take care of my mom and make sure she's good. So, yeah, it's pretty rough right now. So just keep my family in prayers. I, I, you know, I, I got out of the bed and I did my hair and, and I feel like I can, I can face the day because I realized his assignment here is, was done and um, he's moved, he's moved on and I'm sure he's in a much better place. He's not up there stressing about the freaking coronavirus now. But I hope he's up there telling God to, you know, send us some, um, send us some help. You know, we need help. And I know this is a part of the plan. If you look at this whole thing, it's definitely biblical. In my opinion, it's biblical. When I look at this and I look at where we are and what's going on and all this stuff, it's biblical. You know, and it's been going on for a minute now. We did the, you know, the terrorist attack and the crazy weather and all these different things, you know. It's just people having, they told me they had a snowstorm in California and San Diego. I've been to San Diego in December. It's 88 degrees. So to have a, I, I didn't even look it up. I was like, I just can't. Like, it's, it's a part of the plan. And I think I think that's what was helping me to get out of the bed and get myself together because I had to realize, you know, this is a part of the plan. And, yes, it's painful. It's very painful when you lose people you love. Extremely painful. It's very painful when you can't be there for the people you love. It's very painful. But it's a part of the plan. And so... I pulled myself out of bed this morning, um, and I felt a lot better. I, we got up yesterday. We tried to play games and stuff like that, and I felt pretty okay yesterday, but I felt a lot better this morning when I said to myself, you know, my uncle is in a better place, and his assignment here was up, and that's how I have to look at it. Like, we all are on assignments, 
and um, his was up. You know, it was so it was just crazy how he had to leave, but I don't think he suffered a lot, so that's a that's a good thing. And um, my prayers go out to my aunt and my cousins um, as they have to come to grips with the loss of their husband and their father, and grandfather. So keep my family in prayer, y'all. Don't mean to be so bleak right off the bat, but I just I had to get that out because it was that was on my mind. And um, and I just wanted to say rest in heaven, Uncle Marvin. All right, let's get this show rolling. All right, today is April the 6th. We're going to go ahead and get our horoscope started off. Brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. Um, Monday, April the 6th. We're going to do kick it off like we always do, and that's with Aries. Aries, get involved in groups that will help you meet established individuals. You may be sensitive to a point of, of absurdity. Like, straight absurdity? Really? You're going to be that? You're going to be so sensitive that you're going to be absurd this day? Okay. Ooh, spend some time on yourself. Listen, spend some time on yourself. You got to get that. You going to be that sensitive? Yeah, you need to spend some time on yourself, Aries. I don't know what that means. But get involved with groups that help you meet established individuals. What you're trying to do. Find groups that help you reach out to what you... Listen, we are all on assignment right now. What's your assignment? Find groups that can help you push your agenda and your assignment forward. Okay? Taurus. Difficulties with females you live with could cause emotional stress. Your attitudes at work will open up new avenues for you. Be careful not to lead someone on if you truly are not interested. Listen, listen, Taurus, that's not fair. My, my daughter said something funny the other day. She said, um, <laughs> so if you, okay, let, let me just say this. If you don't want to be with that person, Taurus, don't lead them on. Don't give them false, a false sense of hope, you know, hoping that they're going to be with you. They're going to be with you. Just don't do that. That's not good. But anyway, my daughter told me something. She said, somebody on Instagram, I guess the guy was talking to some girl on Instagram and you know, I don't know if you know this, but like when, when people are in jail, they get these and, and they started. So this is a crazy thing. Cause I did, I, I was, a, um, I got hired for a nonprofit in Jersey city some years ago. And the women that I had to work with women who were on welfare, it was on the welfare to work initiative. So I got hired to teach them how to start businesses. Cause that's what I do. Like I teach people how to, start, amongst the many other things I was teaching people how to start businesses. And um, there was one young lady there, and she was dating somebody who was in prison. So she was telling me the story about how they would date and how she would go to the prison, and they would have, like, conjugal business. Like, one of her kids, was she got pregnant while she was doing that. So, you know, the whole time, it's like, I love you, I love you, I love you, because he's locked down. So what else is he going to do? So you can go in there, y'all can have conjugal business and all this stuff. And, um, but my daughter was telling me, so, so when the guys are locked up, it's like, I love you. We're going to be together. We're going to get married. We're going to do all these things, you know, cause they're locked up. So in, in their mind, it's like, okay, I'm going to do all these things cause I'm locked up. So she was saying that somebody on Instagram, I think it was, the girl was like, the guy was like, yeah, we're going to be together. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was, she, it was something that reference to. The girl was saying, yeah, 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 because all of that, because she on lockdown right now because of the quarantine. Like, yeah, this is not going to happen when, when I get out of quarantine. But right now, yeah, 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 we're going to be together. It was it was hilarious. You had to hear the story. I can't even I can't even make it funny because I can't tell you the, the whole story. But when she was telling it to me, it was so funny because it was like, yeah, like, we really aren't going to be together. But right now, since we on lockdown, everything is possible. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Gemini. Rest and relaxation will be more favorable than you think. You may enjoy doing something musical for entertainment. Try not to be too harsh with the loved ones. There will always be two sides to an issue. Listen, Gemini, there's two sides to every story, and then there's the truth. It's always in there, so don't be too harsh with somebody. Get all it, get all the facts first. Two sides to a story, and then there's really the truth. For real. All right, Cancer, emotional upset at work will set you back. Travel will be favorable. You might find that the extra cash will come in handy when an opportunity to invest comes along. Okay, listen, that extra cash is going to come in handy when an opportunity to invest comes along. Here's the thing, though, Cancer. If you don't understand what you're investing in, I don't care how good it looks, you consult a professional. Because once you put that money out, chances are, unless it's a really good deal and you know what you're doing, you won't get it back. So make sure to consult a professional. Leo, your mate will enjoy helping out. Stand up and propose your ideas and you'll be surprised how many people will follow you. Try out the try out for local sports team, for a local sports team such as volleyball, tennis, lawn, lawn bowling. What is that? 
lawn bowling. Okay, I like that. I like the lawn bowling. I used to be a, I used to be on a bowling league. I miss it too. I should get back to it or whatever interests you. So try out for us. Try out for some sports today, Leo. I don't know. Lawn bowling bowling sound really cool. Like I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So you got ideas right now? People, people are willing to back you and follow you. So go ahead and put your ideas out there and find you some fun. Um, lawn bowling right now might be good because you can't can't go past your front door. You're really not supposed to go out the house, but if you want to go outside your backyard, you know, put your mask on and going out there and do some lawn bowling. Never heard of it, but sounds fun. Virgo, relax and enjoy what you've accomplished when you're finished. Don't force your opinions on friends or relatives unless you are prepared to lose their favor. Overindulgence could lead to problems with digestion. Ooh, don't eat too much today, Virgo. Don't do it to yourself. You're going to have some digestive issues. And make sure you're home when you have them. I'm just saying. All right, I'm going to the song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the horoscopes. Brought to you by notable astrologer Michael Thyssen. Stay tuned. Girl, or you real currently bring you daily horoscopes brought by Noted Astrology Michael Thyssen. And listen to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. We're gonna pick it up with Libra. You are best not to nag or criticize. You may 
interest some of them in a service you offer. Okay. This is a great day to let out, to get out, and enjoy entertaining evening with the friends and lovers. This may be a good day, but it's not a good time. So stay home, Libra. Entertain virtually. Get you a glass of wine. Have a virtual wine sip. Do not go out this house. Do not. All right? Still on the quarantine, y'all. I know we want to go. Not yet. Not yet. It's coming. The time will come that we'll be able to go outside and play again. But not yet. Scorpio, you need to do your own thing and work on making yourself the best you can be. Be aware that minor accidents or injuries may prevail if you're pre preoccupied. It's doubtful anyone would try to stand in your way or cut you off the past today. Let me tell you something. Work on yourself. We got we got some time right now. It's so funny because you don't think about you don't think about that when you're always in grind mode, when you're always in action mode. Now that I haven't been able to do anything but kind of just do my podcast. To discover what it is I really want to do, you know, meditate and burn sage. And like, it's weird because it's like, okay, all the stuff that I was doing, like, did I really need to do it? Cause I haven't done it now in a month. Like for real, because the first, the first week in March, I was in Florida, right? The second week I came back, I was in catch up mode, which means I was just trying to catch up on emails and phone calls and things like that. The third week we went into quarantine. So for a whole month now, I haven't done a whole bunch of things that I normally would do. And I'm saying to myself, were they even important? Like, you got to think about it because I'm not doing them. I'm not doing them. I'm not missing anything. It's, were they even important in the beginning? So just ask yourself that. That's all I'm saying. Sagittarius, you will probably have to defend your mate. Hidden matters are likely to surface. Rewards, gifts, or money from investments or taxes can be expected. Okay, Sag, you got some money coming today, sugar. You got some money coming from the investment, some taxes, some a gift. Hey, yes, gifts coming, something. Enjoy that. It's nice when you get some unexpected beautifulness in your life a gift some money a reward it's, that's always that's always nice capricorn don't let someone you work with put words into your mouth mm -mm -mm. you won't have much time for your mate today you will find the perfect outfit if you shop today shop online cap do not leave out the door i don't even think no stores are open right now i don't think there's any stores open so you're gonna have to shop online so go listen don't go spend it too much though Michael didn't say that. I'm saying that just, just, you know, just go buy one something. I, you know, retail therapy. I get it. It's good for you. It's good. I understand. It makes you feel good, but don't go, don't go overboard. That's all I'm saying, Capricorn. You got it, something planned coming up down the pike? Go online, get your little outfit, buy one. So you know, peruse through the sites, find your favorite shopping site online. Aquarius, take time to do something nice for yourself. False information for someone trying to start. Problems is likely. You will get along well in social situations as long as they're virtual. Um, yeah, watch out for the person who's feeding you false information, Aquarius, because they're just trying to start problems. And stay away from them. And once you figure out who it is, don't let them into your circle anymore. Tell them to kick rocks and move on. Don't let them in because they're problem they're, they're problem makers. You don't need them around. You don't need that energy. You don't need people trying to stab in your back. Kick them on their way. And my fellow fish Pisces, social events held in your home will be successful and entertaining for all. Recognition will be yours if you meet your deadline. You will get out of shape easily if you don't keep up, keep on top of things. Let me tell you something. I woke up this morning. I got my little rubber band thing out that you exercise with. I put on Joe Dispenza, like Dr. Joe Dispenza, right? Because I really needed some mental healing, some emotional healing. And I needed some physical healing. So I got my little rubber band out. I burned some sage. I put on Dr. Joe Dispenza. And I and I started doing my exercise. And I got on my bike. And so, yes, I had to get back. I had to get myself back together. Because this whole coronavirus thing has taken a toll. And I was like, I will not let this defeat me. I will not let this defeat me. So I was determined not to do that. And I did not. So that's what you should be determined to. Don't let it defeat you. No matter how tough it is right now, no matter what you may be going through, we can't let it win. And when I say let it win, I mean emotionally, physically, yes, it has taken some of our loved ones, but their assignment was up. You don't know what that assignment is. Only only them and God know it was up. 
And that's what that's how you gotta look at it. Your assignment is done. I remember when Kobe died, you know, he he left a legacy, a huge legacy. Right. And people was like, man, that's crazy. Cause when you look at how crazy things happen, like he went up to in an airplane, something he did on a regular basis and his plane crashed. And I had this, my daughter and I was talking, we was like, well, his assignment was up. So that's how you got to look at it. The assignment is up and you got to keep it moving. Yep. Cause that, I mean, what else? It doesn't make sense. Really? Logically it doesn't. But if you think about, if you think about it in the biblical terms, like we all are here on assignment. All right, let's get on to some lighter stuff. The Nash today is National Caramel Popcorn Day. Ooh, that sounds good, right? National Caramel Popcorn Day. So grab you some caramel popcorn, find you a good movie on Netflix, and relax after you do whatever it is you got to do. Like I'll I'll do Netflix later. I bought craft stuff, right? But I was just not in the mood to even do it. But 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 I got I got to get me some black paint because I'm gonna be in the mood this week. I'm going to be in the mood to do my crafts. I got some things I'm trying to do, so I'm going to be in the mood. All right, let's keep it moving. So, um, here, here's the deal, y'all. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's see what's happening around Georgia. This monster called Corona, y'all, for real. She is a freaking monster. Right now, Georgia has 6,742 cases, and this was reported 10 hours ago on the Gwinnett Daily Post. 6,742 cases confirmed the COVID-19 vi- uh, virus. 219 deaths. It is still, it's still happening. Right? Yeah. Yep. 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 So the state, um, they processed 2,484 tests. Um, 445 of them have been positive for the disease. So a lot of people do have it. You know, they do have it. So let's look and see where we are when it comes to the stats. All right. So where are we right now? Fulton County, 970 cases. 28 deaths. Darty County, that's my home. 688 cases, 31 deaths. DeKalb County, 549 cases, 9 deaths. Cobb County, 474 cases, 24 deaths. Gwinnett County, 410 cases, 7 deaths. Clayton County, 238 cases, 9 deaths. Bartow County, Bartow has 160 cases, got seven deaths. Lee County, which is right next to Albany, which is right next to Georgia, I mean, Doherty County, is um, 138 cases, nine deaths. Clark County only has 60, 62 cases, but it has eight deaths. And Houston County has 62 cases and has six deaths. So... It still happened there. Some counties that have cases but no deaths. Thank God, thank God for that. Um, so for the full list of the number of cases that that are um, that are out there, yeah, you can go check it out on Gwinnett Daily Post. But yeah, right now Georgia is still the number is still growing. Prayerfully, they found something that will you know pump the pump the brakes on this monster. Um, that's going to give us some relief pretty soon and we're just going to keep praying that that's coming through but right now we are over 6,000 cases and 219 deaths and this is as of 7 p.m last night that that came from the Gwinnett Daily Post and that's in the state of Georgia and I told you what it is in Gwinnett County so uh, prayerfully now let me let me ask y'all this because this is something that kind of puzzled me right this this kind of puzzled me all right so on Friday, a statewide a statewide shelter in place went into effect, right? This was just Friday. Just Friday passed. And then yesterday, somebody sent me a tweet that the state is open to beaches. Like beaches are open. So can someone help me to understand why that makes sense? Anybody? Email me, Audrey Good Morning Gwinnett. So you're going to put the whole state on lockdown, which we need to be. I'm not saying we don't need to be, but here's my thing. Why would you open up the beaches to tempt people? Like, why? I don't, I don't get that part. Because people are going to feel, okay, the beaches are open, I can go. No, you cannot go. So I, Governor Kemp, you want to talk to me? I'll be happy to talk to you. Email me, Audrey, good morning, Gwinnett. Let's get on the phone, let's chat. 
because I'm a little confused. I'm sure a lot of people are. I think the, the tweet came through from Joy Reid. She's like, I can't make this up, right? That's one of my favorite things. Like, when I hear stuff that's ridiculous, I can't make it up, y'all. It's like stuff that's just so ridiculous. You're like, okay, for real, is this really happening? So you shut the state down. We're on a statewide shelter in, yet the beaches are open. Why? I don't get that. I just don't get it. So if anybody knows why, hit your girl up. Audrey at goodmorninggwinnett.com. Let me know. Let me know why, because I don't know why. I'm still trying to figure it out. But if y'all know, share with me. Share with me. Share with your girl. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after this next time to give you more of the rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. You're listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. So listen, guys, um, Lawrenceville is saying if you need some help paying your utility bills, they are, isn't that wonderful? Lawrenceville is offering $2 million worth of assistance to utility customers who are having trouble paying their gas and electric bill because of the coronavirus pandemic. The assistance includes credit deposits, payment plans, and a program that would pay one month um, for one monthly bill. 
Yep, the bill payment the bill payment program funded with one hundred thousand dollars from the Salvation Army covers the cost of one month's utility bills in a twelve month period. To use the program, you got to contact the Salvation Army. You can contact them by going to calling seven seven zero seven two four one six six zero. Again, to take advantage of this program, if you're having trouble paying your utility bills, you can call the Salvation Army because they have a hundred thousand dollars towards this, and they're going to be able to pay one month's bill for you. You can call them at 770-724-1660 or email or call Lawrenceville Customer Service Center at customerservice at lawrencevillega.org. Again, that's customerservice at lawrencevillega.org. Give them a call at 678-407-6675. Again, that number is 678-407-6675. They got money for you if you need help paying your bill. Now, don't mess around and wait till the last minute. Utility customers can also spread their bills payments out over up to six months. So if you have a financial need, you can do this as well. You can make arrangements. There's a lot they allow you to do right now. So make sure to check that out. Um, and the city will refund required deposits for utility service for one year of good payment instead of two, as was the norm. The deposit amount varies based on credit history for the residential users. But city manager Chuck Wabington said, it could be between $100 and $800 for most customers. Hey, listen, I pay my utility bills on time all the time. My accountant, she handles that. That's my mom. She paid all the bills. Because I'm so busy running the business, she handles the household bills. So that's a good thing. Um, for commercial users, the deposit based on the prior year's highest utility consumption, and range, that ranges from $100 to $5,000. The money will be considered a utility payment credit. And the city estimates that that will be $2 million. Yep. If you had, if you paid your bill on time, you could get a, uh, some kind of credit. Um, I don't know if that's like a check in the mail, because normally I get a check in the mail every year, which is pretty cool. So if you got questions, 770, call us Salvation Army, Army. 770-724-1660, 770-724-1660, or you can email customer service at customer service at lawrencevillega.org, customer service at lawrencevillega.org, or call Lawrenceville at 678-407-6675. Again, our number is 678-407-6675. Listen, you need to help. Listen, now, if you don't need to help, do not call. They really need to help. You know what I'm saying? Some people are just so greedy. If you don't need the help, don't call the number. This is for people who really, truly need help paying their utility bills. Just don't do that. Because, you know, some people are just greedy. All right, so this is a great People Helping People segment right now. In response to Logoville's effort to collect soap for faith in serving humanity, um, fish, I talked about this last week, the city received a donation of 20 cases of liquid soap from Galco Industry Industrial Safety. Fish also providing uh, fish are also providing lunch assistance and soap donations to children across Wall Street. The donation box of emergency fish kids lunch program is located outside the main door at Loganville City Hall during um, regular business hours located at 4303 Lawrenceville Road. With spring break scheduled for the 6th, which starts today, the 6th through April the 6th through the 10th, school district will not be distributing food to students. Additional volunteers are needed to work in small groups of 10 or less to assist with the program. Additional drivers to deliver meals are also needed. So if you want to participate, um, you can go to www.fishofwalton.org, fishofwalton.org um, to volunteer or email them at volunteers at fishofwalton.org. I know Walton is not Gwinnett County, but part of Loganville system, Walton County, and part of Loganville system in Gwinnett County. So I just, you know, we have to, these are our neighbors, you know. So if if I can help somebody in Gwinnett County, then I can help somebody in Gwinnett County. If I can help somebody in, in Walton County, then let's do that as well. If I can help somebody in Fulton County, you know, let's do that as well. DCAB, whatever. We're all in this together. That's the bottom line. It's not just a Gwinnett thing. This is a world thing. And right here in the state of Georgia, we are all in this together. So if I can announce somebody who needs some help in another county, I will do that. And I have done that. So, again, if you are in need of lunches for your kids, if you're in need of soap, you can um, reach out to Fish. 
Fish for Kids, uh, fishofwalton.org, fishofwalton.org. Or if you want to volunteer, you can uh, email them, volunteers at fishofwalton.org. People helping people, that's what it's all about. We're all in this together. I'm doing my part, you know, right now by being able to get on here every morning and share what's going on. I know some of the stories are sad, but it, hey, it is what it is. All right, here's another great story. Hope Springs Distillery in Lilburn switching to making, uh, sell, to making selling hand, to making and selling hand sanitizers. Okay, so it's a distillery. They're gonna be making hand sanitizers. Well, that's a good way to to, to turn it. Around. All right, so listen. So this is what they say. Say at first, the idea of switching gears and producing hand san- sanitizer instead of vodka. Sounded like an interesting, if not fun, concept to Lilburn based Hope Springs Distillery owners Betsy um, Dahlberg and Paul Allen as the COVID 19 coronavirus disease outbreak was just starting to hit Georgia a month ago. A month ago, 6,000 people, y'all. So this company makes vodka. Now, here's the thing there's alcohol and hand sanitizer. So it can't, so you add in a couple of other ingredients, you can make hand sanitizer and some vodka. And I'm kidding. I'm just kidding about that part. But anyway, <laughs> um, they say it began when someone created a Pinterest post about using vodka to make hand sanitizers. What supply at stores um, by the, by that point? So Hope Springs owners found a little humorous sense, found it a little humorous since the, pro, since the produce, since they produce vodka, but the idea quickly turned serious. So they started producing hand sanitizers. So let me tell you something. You got to make the adjustments. My cousin sews, right? And I didn't even think about this. I wasn't, and that's that's weird for me not to think about this. But she sold. She been sewing since she was a kid. She made my she made my prom dress. She made my I was in a pageant. She made my pageant dresses. Her sister got married. She made the wedding dress. She sold. She's been sewing since she made her prom dress. My other cousin's prom dress. So she's the same. She's been sewing her whole life. Well. My other cousins, they knew she sold, so they started ordering masks from her. She lives in North Carolina. They live in Georgia. They live in Albany. They started ordering masks from her. And I, it didn't even dawn on me that, heck, we could have went into production. I know how to sew. I could have made some masks. It didn't even dawn on me that we could have went into production making masks. It didn't even cross my mind. And I, I want to kick myself. I was like, you know what? I could have set up an Etsy store. We could have been pumping out masks. Because I know how to sew. We have a sewing machine in this house. My daughter has a sewing machine. My cousin knows how to sew. We could have been pumping out masks, but it didn't even occur to me to do that. So I wasn't supposed to do that. That wasn't my assignment. But it was a good one. I was like, oh, man. I didn't even think about it. So this company right here, Hope Spring Distillery, said, you know what? We're going to switch it. We're going to switch from making vodka. We're going to make hand sanitizer. Listen, people are drinking a lot of vodka right now. I ain't going to lie. People are drinking because they're trying to get over this pain they're going through of being locked in the house. But anyway, most of y'all up in um up in uh, a Lilburn, so the distillery which is located at 4839 Railroad Avenue in Lilburn would sell the sanitizer from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Customers can purchase up to four bottles at a cost of seven dollars a bottle. So you want some pure vodka hand sanitizer, you're going to pay premium. It's a premium. That's premium hand sanitizer, premium. And so you're going to pay premium. It's going to be $7 a bottle. You can you can purchase up to four. Fridays and Saturdays, between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m., you can purchase hand sanitizers by going to the distillery, Hope Springs Distillery, located at 4839 Railroad Avenue, and that's in Lilburn. From 2 to 6 on set Fridays and Saturdays, you can go and buy you some hand sanitizer. Up to four bottles, it's premium. It's a premium kind of hand sanitizer, seven dollars a bottle. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Listen, I ain't mad at them. You do what you got to do. You make the adjustments. We living in some crazy times right now. You got to make the adjustments. You got to do what you got to do. So they see an opportunity to make soap. I ain't mad at them. Make the soap. That's all I'm saying. All right, listen, I'm going to the song. I'll be right back this time to give you more of the rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. You're listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. I was living in the clouds, yeah. Like a million explosions. Whatever happened to the picture? The one where you and I were perfect. Like if heaven was a time lapse. Play the story where we'd end up. 
Would you pause it for a second Before this thing is over Would you come a little closer Before this thing is over Would you come a little So, you know, a lot of people have decided, you know what, we're going to do some virtual meetings, which you can't, you can't be mad. That, listen, you got to make the adjustments. We're, we're living in some times right now that call for adjustments. And so, that being said, um, the uh, Beaufort City Council City Commission meeting is going to be tonight from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., but it's going to be virtual. So, it's going to be a teleconference. They're going to be live streaming it to YouTube so you can watch it. So, to, to find out more information about this, you can go to cityofbeaufort.com. Um, sophisticity.com, cityofbeaufort.sophisticity.com. Click on the calendar, and you'll find out how to be able to watch this event tonight from 7 to 8 p.m. Normally, this is an in-person event, but because of what's going on right now, there it's going to be a teleconference. Um, but but you can also watch a live stream via YouTube. Listen, this is the, this is where we are right now. This is, hey, you make the adjustments. Also. If you are a member of the Top Chef Toastmasters Club um, and you still want to attend the event, they're having a virtual event tonight, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Normally it's at Unity Church in Atlanta, Unity of Atlanta Church but in Norcross, but they're not doing it. It's going to be virtual. So if you want to know more about you know how to attend the virtual uh, Toastmasters this evening from 6.30 to 7.30, and that's for Top Chef Toastmasters Club, you can also go to unityofatlanta.com and click on the calendar there so you can find out more information. You got to make the adjustment. People, Some people don't like change, but if you want to take part in this, you can. So Uni is still going to have their meeting tonight, 6.30 to 8 o'clock, um, Top Shelf Toastmasters Club, but it's going to be virtual. So this is an opportunity for you to still get up there and do your, because um, right now they probably be like, Audrey, you just said 12 ohms, um, for you to get them counted. So go ahead, check it out. 
if you have if you have events coming up that are in, I'm not announcing any events, and so I don't know if you know this. And there are events that say people can go to these places. I don't know. It's probably the calendar's probably wrong. They probably didn't update it, but I'm not announcing any events that tells you to go outside your house. So that's why I haven't announced any. And I could, because I still see them on the calendar, but I will not, because you're not supposed to go outside the house. So I'm not going to announce those. What I am going to say is, I, what I am going to do, I will announce virtual events. Anything virtual, I'm going to announce. But if it's something that wants you to leave the house, I'm not I'm not announcing those because I'm not advocating that you leave your house because the, the, the governor has said stay in the house. The county of Gwinnett has said stay in your house. Um, if you go congregating somewhere, you could be fined. So I'm not, I'm not going to announce any events that tells you to leave the house. Right? I'm just not going to do it. Yep. I'm not. All right, so listen, that's all I got for you. I don't have a lot of stuff. That's the crazy part. Like, normally I have so much stuff to announce that I can't even get to it all. But, you know, here lately, not so much because th- that's what I'm saying. So it kind of makes you think, like, do I really need to do all of the stuff that I be doing? Because right now we're not doing a lot of the stuff that we normally do, which makes my show a little bit shorter than it normally would be because there's just not a lot going on. It's not like I can't even make I can't make up stuff. The only thing I'm talking about, like you know, is coronavirus because it keeps popping up everywhere I look. Everywhere it's there. You still want to be safe, guys. You still want to take the precautions. You know, don't put yourself in a predicament where you or a loved one can lose their life behind this thing. I did. We lost somebody we love. Never gonna see him again. Can't even go to the funeral. You know, um. But this too shall pass. This too shall pass. All right, so listen to this. Here's he. I'm, I'm not going to play a song right now. I'm going to go ahead and do my um. I'm my, I'm going to go ahead and do my my inspiration of the day. So this is a this is a good quote. Um, because I'm you know I told you I was listening to Dr. Joe Dispenza, and you have to you have to be uh, fully conscious of everything around you so that you can have the level of success and peace and prosperity you want in your life. So here's a, here's my quote for the day. The key to success is to focus on goals, not obstacles. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, let me say it again. The key to success is to focus on the goals, not the obstacles. Here's the thing. Don't focus on the obstacles. Okay. You see the obstacles? Yeah, there's obstacles. What is the goal? What is the goal that you're trying to attain? I'm a, I'm a solution person. Like people come to me with problems. I don't, I want to hear what the problem is. And that's all I want to do. I don't want to stay there. I'm not going to keep, I'm not going to keep dwelling on the problem. Like, okay, so that's the problem. Let's find a solution. That's the goal. The solution is the goal. When you spend time on the goals, you will reach the goals. If you stay stuck on the obstacles, you're going to stay stuck on the obstacles. That means no success for you. So if you want to be successful at anything, I don't care what it is. If you want to, if you want to know how to make a pie, if you focus on the fact that the eggs are brown versus white, guess what? The pie is not going to get made. Put the brown eggs on there, see what it tastes like. Next time you get the next time you get the white eggs. I'm just saying, you have to you have to focus on the goals and not the obstacles. Because focusing on the obstacles is not going to help you reach reach the goal. It's not going to help you get to success. It won't. And if anybody tell you it will, they're lying. If you stay stuck where you are, focus on all the things that are going wrong, everything that's in your way, why things didn't turn out the way they were supposed to, there's no success for that. Because you're stuck there, and you're dwelling on that, and you're focusing on that. Instead of focusing on exactly what it is you want. What is it that you want? I want Gwinnett to be a household show. Guess what I'm doing? I'm focusing on that. I want everybody in Gwinnett County and beyond to download the Good Morning Gwinnett app. I'm focusing on that because I want Good Morning Gwinnett to be a, a household show. So I got to focus on what I want. I can't focus on what didn't happen. Now, don't get me wrong. I've been in those days. I've been, I've been there where I focus on the obstacles, but I don't focus for long. Like the day I got up, I was like, you know what? My uncle is going to heaven. I'm going to pull myself up by my bootstraps. I'm going to get my hair done. I got my hair did. Check my nails. Baby, how you feel? Feel it? can't say this is a family show but anyway so i got for you today guys thank you so much for being here with me i appreciate you so much 
It could have been anywhere in the world. You spent the last 50 minutes with me, and I appreciate that. If you missed any episode of the show, please go to goodmorninggwinnett.com and listen to past episodes. And also, if you like the show, share the show with your friends. Subscribe to the show. Give it a five-star rating. I appreciate that. I need that to help me keep doing the show, to help me keep pushing it. Share the show so I can make it a household show um, around the Gwinnett County and beyond. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing, please stay safe. This thing is not over. Don't let anybody fool you into believing that it's over. It's not over. It's She's still out there. Corona is a bee, and she's still out there wreaking havoc on people's lives, their livelihood, their families, their friends. She's out there. So please be safe. Be safe. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you missed an episode, go to www.goodmorninggwinnett.com to catch up. If you liked this episode, subscribe to the show now and share it with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit www.noisemedia.us.